I'm Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Today we're going to go through a few things that you can do if you're experiencing numbness, tingling, pins and needles in your hand. I want to say that this is a very serious condition. You want to make sure that you get it checked out by a healthcare professional. Numbness and tingling generally is indicative of a nerve involvement. So if you are experiencing anything like that, even in a finger, two fingers, the whole hand, whatever it may be, you want to consult a medical professional to get it properly diagnosed. It can be coming from a number of different sources. So you want to make sure that you have all the knowledge that you can when dealing with this. One of the things that you need to concentrate on the most, regardless of the etiology of why you have pins and needles, is your posture. So whether it's a disc issue, whether it's a muscle imbalance, whether it's a muscle strain, whether it's a nerve entrapment, whatever the case may be, you always want to work on your posture. That will help a lot of the conditions or a lot of the reasons that this condition exists. So one of the things that you can do is start by doing just simple chin tuck exercises. So you're going to jut your chin all the way forward and then all the way back. And then you want to find about halfway in between and you want to stop. This is where your neck should rest for the day. Most people are guilty of having their neck too far forward. This puts your discs and your muscles in an improper position and sets you up for injury. So if you're sitting at a computer for eight hours a day with your neck too far forward, you are basically herniating your disc eight hours a day. The next exercise you want to do is shoulder rolls. Many people with neck pain or pins and needles tend to develop a guarding pattern. So your shoulders wind up up here. So after a while, your muscles think that this is where your shoulders are supposed to rest. You wanna do a couple shoulder rolls. You wanna roll them back and drop them down, okay? This is where your shoulders should rest. So once you roll them up, back, and then you drop them down, that's where they should rest for the day, okay? But doing the shoulder rolls will help loosen the muscle up, help get fluid into the muscle, and just help you to relax. These two exercises you want to do throughout the day at your desk, whether you set up a cue reminder or you just know to do them every couple minutes, it'll allow the blood to get to the areas that need it. Standing or sitting statically for long periods of time does take damage on your discs, it takes damage on your spine, and it takes damage on your muscles. So you want to make sure you're doing everything you can to replenish those throughout the day. The final exercise uh, that we're going to do is a stretch. It's the upper trap stretch. You want to grab your head, gently pull it to the opposite side. You should feel a stretch in through here. If you feel that this increases your numbness and tingling, you want to stop and you want to hold off on this stretch until it feels better. You pull it as far as you can until you feel a gentle stretch. If it hurts, stop. If it hurts, back off a little bit, do it, uh, don't do it at all if it increases that numbness and tingling. If you suspect that you have a herniated disc or you're experiencing numbness and tingling in your hands, please call us at 215-997-9898.